Hi, my name is Anne Marie, and today I'm going to be talking about Lewis Dock structures, formal charges, and resonance structures. So basically, resonance occurs when two or more structures can be drawn for a molecule, um, and their atoms are in the same attachments. Um, and then for formal charge, that's going to be determining the best Lewis structure when more than one is possible. So basically, for this activity. Um, we're say we're given that two possible structures um, are possible for the X, Y, Z. So we don't know which atoms or elements they are, but we just know that it's X, Y, Z and it has a negative charge. So that means that it's gaining one electron. Um, and then so some other rules. I didn't have a printer, so I didn't write everything out. Um, but so some other rules are none can expand their octet um, and then X and Z are not the same atom. And X is more electronegative, that's what the EN stands for, electronegative than Z. And the electronegative order, so X is more electronegative than Z, but Z is more electronegative than Y. And that's because Y is the central atom. So that means it's gonna have the least electronegativity. Um, and then we're gonna, at the end, we're gonna show the formal charge we're gonna discuss the best and worst resonance structure um, and basically just break that down um, into a little more simpler terms. Okay, so for the first step, you're wanna, uh, gonna wanna determine the amount of valence electrons is in the total of the X, Y, Z. So for the problem, we're given that X has six valence electrons, Y has five valence electrons, and Z has six valence electrons. But also we have to remember that this negative is telling us that we have to add because it's gaining one electron. So you just always have to remember how to put back or put that back in. So what we're gonna do is add all of these up. So six plus six is 12 plus five is 17 plus one is 18. So that gives us a total of 18 valence electrons. So, and it's also really important um, that we remember that 18 and all of our structures are going to have to have 18 valence electrons or it's not valid. So we're always just going to keep that in the back of our mind. So we're going to draw this as how we interpret it and then we're going to take those and then we're going to make those structures so we want this um this whole thing is asking us for two total the resonance structures so how i'm going to break this down i'm just going to kind of start off with a simple form and then break down from there so what we're going to want to do is the x y z and we're always going to want to make sure that we obey the oc tet rule and then assume we have no expanded octet and then there's always 18 valence electrons so this is just kind of like an assumption thing um but yeah for right now we're kind of just laying out everything so what I did, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. And I just like to leave this single one out here so I can make a bond easily, but we're gonna move it around because we don't want any lone ones out of here. And then because this has six valence electrons, and then Y has five, so I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five and then for z we have six so i'm going to do one two three four five oops, five and six so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen then so I'm just going to draw this pair from here. 
So this is a bond. So from here, it doesn't have to be like exactly perfect right now because we haven't made like the structure yet, but we're just kind of laying out the electrons and how we see them. And then this one, so I counted 17, we're gonna add this one in. And I'm just gonna put this right here. You can put it basically anywhere. But now we have 18 electrons in here. So for this first structure, what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna lay out the X, the Y, and the Z. So I wanna make sure that everything pairs up, all of our rules are met. So what I chose to do is we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll make that single bond between these two. One, two. We'll make another single bond. And I decided to move my electrons so I can make a double bond. And then we're gonna do one, two, three, four. And then we wanna make sure that we're showing this negative charge. So this is where the parentheses come in to show that it is ionic. So it's gonna be negative. So let's count and make sure that we have all of our rules met. So 18 valence electrons, and then also that it's obeying the octet rule. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18. Now let's do the octet rule because sometimes that can get a little tricky. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Perfect. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Awesome. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Perfect. All of them meet the octet rule. So and this is how we kind of start breaking down like, okay, like this is correct. But now we have to do the valence electrons, the associate electrons. So those are the electrons that are touching the element or the atom. And then we're going to subtract them. And then that's how we're going to get um, that formula charge or change. Formula charge, I mean, sorry. So I like to write it down here just so I can keep charge of it. And we're going to subtract them. So for our valence electrons, we started off with X or for six for X. And then we started off with five. I'm just going off of what I have up here. And then for Z, we have six. Make sure everything's in my camera. And then for the associate le electrons, we're just gonna count what is touching. So I like to divide these in half, just so we make sure that each of them are separate to their own. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not gonna count the one over here, I'm just counting the one over here, so that's seven. Now we have one, two, three, four, five. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So only the ones that are touching. So then we're gonna subtract them. So this gives us a negative one and you're always gonna wanna write the FC and then the charge. FC, this equals to zero. FC, this equals to zero. And so I know that this is correct because when we're taking all of this, this is gonna add up to that negative charge. Um, and so, yeah, so this is just, it makes sense to the charge of the molecular ion. So this is going to be our final answer for this one. Make sure you add those parentheses. Then I will just write a negative one down here for the charge, a zero, and a zero. So this is our first resonance structure. All right, so this is the structure, the resonance structure that we had for the first one. So now we're gonna wanna create a second one because we have to have two. 
So we're just gonna rearrange the electrons just, just a little bit. Um, it's gonna be different, but kind of around the same patterns, but we are gonna get different formal charges, so a different layout of formal charges. So what I wanna do, what I came up with, so I'm gonna lay out my X, Y, and Z. So I thought to myself, what would happen if I were to switch this double bond, move it over here, and move the single bond over here? How would that change the formal charge at all? So what I did, we're gonna have one, two, one, two. I just moved my double bond over here, my single bond to this one. Then we're gonna have two up here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's count. We want to make sure that we have the 18 valence electrons and that we're following the octet rule. So let's see. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Check. And then the octet roll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Correct. So that's how we know that we are on the right track. And then just like the one before, we wanna add that parentheses because it's still that negative that ion, the molecular ion. So then we need to do the valence electrons subtracted from the associate electrons. So we're gonna do that same thing that we did before. Subtract, subtract, and subtract. So remember the associate electrons are the ones that are touching and the valence electrons are the ones that we started with in the first place. So it'll be six, five, six for the associate electrons. Let's divide this to make it easier on ourselves. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So for this, we're gonna get the formula charge, or formal charge of zero. Formal charge, zero. Six, seven, formal charge of negative one. And then let's make sure that that all adds up to this negative, and it does, so that's how we know we are correct. So this is gonna be our second one. The final. Perfect. And this is our final for the second one. All right, so now I kind of want to discuss how we pick um, the best option um, for the resonance um, and the formal charges. So for our formal charges, for the first one, we got negative one, zero, zero. And then for the second one, zero, zero negative one. So basically for the, the most ideal formal charge sequence, um, they're all gonna be zeros. For this one, we're close, but we still have these negative ones. Um, and we know that formal charges must add up to zero for a neutral atom or the charge of a molecular ion. So, but we know that this adds up to that negative. Um, so it's kind of hard to determine for this one just because they are so similar. Um, and it was kind of hard for me to pick the best one, but then I remembered. Um, so number one is actually gonna be our winner. Um, it is the best because it has the negative formal charge um, on the most electronegative atom. So I let me get my paper from the first sequence. 
But if you remember, for our first one, we have, it tells us the sequence, the electronegative order. So X is more electronegative than Z, Z is more electronegative than Y, Y is our least. So we look at this and we're gonna be like, oh, okay. So if X is our most electronegative, that negative charge is with that one. And it has the more the negative formal charge. And this one, the formal charge, the negative formal charge, is on not the least, but X is more. So that's how I kind of determined how this one is the best fit for our problem. So I'll kind of circle that guy. All right, thank you for listening.